my buddy. Open up and give me your goods. I got an old map! A very old map that shows a marked spot. Yeah. Oh, come on. I gotta go to the depths. Uh-oh. Location shown on the old map has been marked on your map. Come on. That's a slap in the face. Yo, what's going on everybody? Tip Top Gamer is back with another awesome episode of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for the Nintendo Switch. If you guys were last time, you'll know that we explored Retail Village a little bit more. We learned a little bit more about the blizzard that's taking over this place and some mysterious cloud that should be around us somewhere. I think it's... It's around here somewhere. Anyway, that big cloud is a big problem for the Rito village, so Telen, the young Rito warrior who we learned about last episode, who is also the son of Teba from Breath of the Wild, decided to fly off on his own over to the Hebra Mountains, the Hebra Tundra, in order to stop it on himself by himself and to prove to his father that he is uh, hot stuff. Now in this hospital episode, we're going to find the young Rito warrior, and you're going to watch me run like a chicken with its head cut off as I struggle to do so. Let's get started! Alright, so what I'm going to do first, there's this guy over there that I'm going to take care of. What is that? Oh, it's a thing with a blimp. Okay. Uh... Also, another big guy somewhere around where I literally just jumped off of. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go take care of this guy really quick. Hey, bud. What's going on? Ever get lonely up here? I mean, it's kind of a excluded area. I, uh. Oh, crap. That's. Um. Yeah, Link, eat up. You're gonna need the strength. You need the strength, Link. Uh, that's not good. Why does he look like that? Burn! Is that gonna work? It actually did! Yay! And I got some more stuff, so... Don't panic. I got a wooden shield. I've also got a candle torch. No, no I'm gonna save it. Uh, let's use. Nah, screw it. I'm gonna use this. You got that? Soldier construct horn. A sharp hooked horn dropped from a soldier construct two. Oh, it's a soldier construct two horn. Sorry. It's well suited for slicing through small branches and plants. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase attack power. Yeah, we you know that. We got it. We got it. Oh. I like that. I need weapons where I could get weapons. Is this a... Okay. Pots. Didn't realize soldier constructs like to cook. Or to hold stuff in pots. Yay. Nice. Got a sky shroom, some arrows. What is that? Hold up. We got this. Break that to get some more arrows. It's beautiful. We got these cool, cool cephalin? Ceph Cephalinas? What is that? Is that like a broken old construct? Very interesting, but also in the same way, very suspicious. There's also a dragon over there. That is 
totally not psychotic in the slightest. Alright, so there's this thing. I'm assuming I can use this to get over there. Uh, but I'm gonna need a balloon so I can float it. Let's climb just a little bit so we can find what we need. <clears throat> Most of that shrine. Yeah, there we go. Huh. Idea. Why can I not grab it from here? It's so big. I feel like I should be able to grab it from there. Uh. I can't even move it up that high. That's. It's a very interesting contraption. Okay, get there. And then grab it. So it just floats in place. How dare you? That's what I was worried about. I can't reach it. Alright, so I can't bring that up. Or I could attach it with a balloon. Let's do that. Let's use the balloon on this thing. Bring it up. Drop it. Let's get it. There's something inside of the balloon. Oh, it's a flame thingy. Alright, new plan. We're going to fly so that I can fly over to that thing down there. I want to fight it. I really hope I'm not getting it over my head. No, this is stupid. Uh, I got something to latch on to. So I won't die. And... Away! So it's a mini-boss, okay? Hey, bud! Alright... Get ready to blow! Ah! <laughs> Alright, so I have to attack that thing directly. Can I pick it up? I can pick it apart. I can pick it up and take it apart. No, come here. This reminds me so much of the final boss in the uh, Mario Party DS. The final Bowser fight. Come here. Here. I'll do you a favor. I tried to put back to that. What is that?
You wanna be like that? You wanna be like that, huh? Dry. so I can't get hit by that thing at all. Alright, so that's pretty interesting. Alright, so I just spawned right in front of it. That's nice. Break it off. <laughs> I thought I could defend myself. All right, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I am definitely getting it over my head here. Oh yeah, what a shot. Yeah. So it just stops in place. That works. Thank you. I got, I got your pieces. Oh yeah. Piece by piece. It's just a big puzzle. I love puzzles.
I should be using something lighter. Weaken its attacks. Again. Rubik's Cube. Beneath Rubik's Cube node. Now it's on the back. Nice. This might be it. Yeah, baby! I can't pick it up. Here. Woo! That's a whole lot of junk. I got a rocket! It's a night device that produces powerful thrust. It packs a punch, but burns out quickly. That's nice. Is this a sp It's spine? Wait. Huh. Well. I got a, I, I, I got a stick. Hey! I got a flux core. Oh, it's a core. A tree branch with an added grip and a... Uh, yeah, okay. It's just a normal tree branch. Okay. It's just a normal tree branch description. Okay. There's a chest over here that I want to grab. I want you. I want the goods you have inside of you, my, my buddy. Open up and give me your goods. I got an old map! A very old map that shows a marked spot. Yeah. Oh, come on. I gotta go to the depths. Location shown on the old map has been marked on your map. Come on! That's a slap in the face! For you guys who don't know, if you guys haven't seen the seventh episode of the series, I think it is. The Depths is this creepy little cave with a bunch of stuff that's absolutely terrifying and I hate it. So we got a bunch of soldier constructs. Wow! What's that attached to? Oh, I see. All right, that works. What's gonna happen when we do this? I have no idea. Maybe we'll find Tellen. Maybe this. Maybe this will help. Or maybe that's how I get to that shrine. I'm gonna save really quick, just in case something happens. It's fine. I should have jumped off there, shouldn't I? That was stupid on my part. My bad, guys. Sorry.
Take two. How many rockets do I have? I only have one. Dang it. Alright, looks like I'm coming back here. That was really dumb on my part. I realize that now. There's a freaking dragon down there. That's. It's gonna be oodles of fun to catch. Alright, so let me go back into my adventure log. I'm gonna go back for that shrine. I know it's up, up top on that rock. Hearth said that Tullin went to the Hepra South Summit Cave. Alright, so let's look at the map. The Hebra Summit South... There we go. I am way off. Alright, so I gotta go this way. Turn it back. I even have the train marked. Is that in the direction of the... Yeah, it is. A little bit past it, too. It's probably up there that I'm supposed to go. See the flag? I gotta find a cave. Oh, there's a family down there. I don't really like that family, I'm just gonna point it out. It might be nice, but uh... Heh! <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with them. You gotta be like some of those nosy neighbors that nobody likes. Is it here that I'm supposed to go? There's that tower. There's a couple of guys down there. I'm gonna leave them be. For now. Up we go, up we go, climbing snow. How is this physically possible? Aha! There we go. It's a hero shrine. Alright, let's open this up. And head inside. Oh, hey! Where is here exactly? Ah, uh, yes, it's the aid from above shrine. I just do that. Oh, I get it. It senses me, it just drops me to the death above or below. Sorry. Oh, I get it. So Link is just raiding the shrine and stealing its treasure. Got it. perfect if I decide to come become a professional bank robber. What aid am I getting from above? I'm literally just dodging above. Aha. Yeah. Alright, so we could go that way. Uh, yeah, we could go. And this is the chest. Alright. Am I learning the 
guards. Uh, okay, so there should be a way to get up there. I just can't see it yet. 346 minutes later. Am I supposed to sacrifice something to the uh, to the gods? Here's your sacrifice. No, that didn't work. Huh. Let's leave it. I didn't realize it would get closed off. I thought I'd be able to go back through. Uh. So, exactly how am I supposed to dodge this? I can't go back there. Alright, so it's just a one time go through and then you're good for the rest of your life. Perfect. So I don't know how you are exactly supposed to do the last the last one, but I did it that way. I did it my own way. I get it. I understand the puzzle. Ha ha ha! Oh, game, you sly, sly dog. I got a spicy elixir. Oh, it's new. Okay. Grants a high level warming effect, increasing your resistance to cold environments. Very useful when exploring snow covered mountains. That does sound useful. Are we going to do that? I want to see what's up here. Nothing at all. Nothing in the slightest is up here. Huh. I mean, I wanted to see if I could use the sentence to get up through there, but it appears not. Link is too fat to get through there. Oh! I was supposed to use a send to get up here. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Of course, I did it the way that I wanted to, not the way that the game wanted me to. So, there we go. We are here. Now I'm going to extend my hand so I can get a very small ball of light shoved into my into my uh, thoracic cavity so that I can uh, rid a curse that's in my arm for whatever reason. And now they're just going to let me leave. Perfect! <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been getting over a cold. Ooh! Cave! There is a cave. Is this the cave I need to go into? Please. Hebra South Summit Cave! I've done it! Hello. I didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon. What with the blizzard and all? I am here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? I'm here to find a little boy who oh. ran over here. Like a Vertelina. Fair enough. 
he's father in this cave with Gason. Uh, they're scavenging for food. Interesting. No, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've amassed so far. Ah. Be on your guard. There's a creature in that cave that hops around. Although, oh, I know that cave here. It sheds uh, crystals. It probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Tellen. Can I break these? Sorry. Alright, so we got the bright cap. I got a fish. A chill fin trout. This blue trout prefers cold bodies of water. Its skin contains enzymes that keep its body cool. And when cooked into a dish, it will temporarily boost your heat resistance. Okay, interesting. Alright. Ow! That is not the way you're supposed to escape that cave, that little place there, Link. Alright, so, got a rock. Is a coral standing guard? No. Ah! Wrong button. Wrong button, I meant to throw it, I'm getting my buttons mixed up. I'm always getting my buttons mixed up over here. Nothing again. Tiny chunk of ice. Oh, it's, it's a lake. Go throw the rock in the lake. Anyways. Let's step out of here. Am I supposed to go down here, or am I just. I don't want to go down there just yet. Don't kill me. This is probably where I'm supposed to go because this is... It's wind. It's birds. No, it's just where I get some... Oh, that's probably what... that That's probably what she was talking about. Well, let's just go ahead and grab some materials really quickly. We don't have to worry about that guy just yet. We can just break some stuff down here. There we go. It's got some amber and some rock salt. And now we'll go deal with the big dumb idiot that looks like he, uh... I'm trying to figure out something stupid I could say about him, but... Psychopath! <laughs> Who? What? Where? Why? You crazy? Uh huh. I need something. Oh! What? No, that's not what we want. I want to do this. I want to drop that. Kids, this is how you make fire. I probably need a pine cone. Nice! Not many things in this world that I don't that I don't uh, find interesting enough to explore. I'm gonna drop that. Fire! Fire in a hole! 
Yeah, that's what I thought she was talking about. That thing. Oh, it's buckles. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I know you're harmless, but... I need your family jewels. There we go. Thank you. Giant bloom seed. What's in what's in this rock? Only one way to find out. Let's break it open and see what's inside. That's not helpful. But this is. There we go. Anything else in this room? Nothing of note. Let's continue. So how far did this little child travel into this cave? Ah! What you got against me? What did I do to you? I just got to this place. What's your problem? Again. Why did this little child decide it was a good idea to venture deep into this cave with things like that? That Holland. Mm. Yeah, I'm just as impressed with him as you are. What are we going to do with that boy? It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Mm? Oh. Well, I'll be. Was a Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? I'm here to find the kid you're mm. talking about. You're here to hear talk to Tullin, eh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in mm. fact. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tullin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm going to follow them back to their nest, and flew off alone before I could protest. If you leave the cave and head north, you get to spot a lone cedar tree on Toronto Peak. That's where the, that's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Tolan followed them there. Mm. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but... He really shouldn't be taking th these chances. Alright, so I gotta go... Not that way, that is a wall. I gotta go this way. But I wanna go back really quick, because remember that little place where I broke the ice? I said I would go back there, but I didn't know... Because I didn't know if that was the main path or not. And I didn't want to go down the main path at that point. I wanted to explore just a little bit. Alright. Alright, so this is just an area where you can scavenge stuff. Okay, got some of that. So those. Booyah. Got it. Got it. Alright. I want to test something. Oh, that doesn't work. Um. All right, you know what we're gonna do? What do you get when you take some flint and wood, put it together? Take out. Uh, something to beat it with. This. What? What? 
a piece of wood doesn't even know it should be burning right now. Why does that not work? Well, that's an annoyance. Now I have to climb out of here. Approximately 10 hours later. A little further. You can make it, Link. There we go. There's a good boy. All right, now he's going to wait a little bit just until my stamina fills up. And we got it. All right, this is right, right? Yes, it is. Perfect. That is what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Whoa! Oh, the thing broke. Okay. This mysterious mineral gives off a pale blue glow in the dark, which some believe to be souls of the dead. Apparently, this stone can be used as a base to make special clothing. Okay, so basically they use a stone of the dead and they just make stuff out of it. Totally not weird at all. Totally not weird to use something that might have souls inside of it and uh, put it into your stuff that might may or may not get haunted by it. Perfect. That makes total sense. I got a fish. That's not the fish I wanted. That is. There we go. That's what I like to see. You know what I like to see? Pine cones blowing up. Away! Alright, so now we're back here. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Yeah, there's that little cave. I want to go investigate just a little bit ago. Up we climb. Up we climb some more. Alright, so now we can go investigate. This video is going to be very long. I'm sorry for that. I just wanted to make some more progress other than me dying a bunch of times to a giant robot. It reminds me a lot of Bowser in uh, Mario Party DS. fruit nice a fruit that generates cold when struck cooked correctly it gives off an effect that strengthens muscles and increases attack power in cold temperatures that's awesome could it also freeze people could it also freeze guys those guys are eating frozen meat. Probably not good for your teeth, guys. Yep, see? This wouldn't be happening if you didn't eat frozen meats. Your teeth would be strong enough to bite through a bomb. That's what I'm talking about. Addison. Uh, blue Blacoblin Horn. A two-pronged horn with sharp edges and tips. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power, or brew it into an elixir. Alright! So I think... What we'll do... Is I'll I hope Addison, with his uh, presidential troubles... And I'll end off the video there, because it's... It's been a long video! A lot longer than, than I anticipated. That giant guy threw me off. <laughs> Putting this together. I, what? Hey! <laughs> what? Hey! <laughs> Alright, I'll put you on this side. You know what else? I'll carry you by it too. I'll carry it by you too. There we go. All right, I give up. Oh, no, that's not even the right side, dang it.
Oh, I attached. Oh, shoot. Addison. You okay there, buddy? That was not the intention. I just wanted to make sure he was okay. It wasn't suffocating. Alright, that should be perfect. Why does it look like he saw a ghost? What? Hold up. Now can I talk to him? Oh, see, yeah, I helped you earlier. Now you're trying to get your president to stay up like that, so we're just gonna use. Just let go. That rock will support it. It's perfect. There you go. How's the president standing? Because of the rock that you literally could have pushed over here to get it standing, stupid. Uh. And it's up. Perfect! You're welcome, I saved your shine again. Now give me what my heart desires, some rupees. There we go. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the rice balls. It's perf perfect. We're in slow level cold resistance. The aroma of the mushrooms tickles your nose as you peel back the leafy wrapping. <laughs> You're welcome. Man, you just can't stop giving ah. me gifts. Also, I'm surprised you were able to survive this long holding up a sign with just in just shorts and a t-shirt. I'm literally wearing a sweater, and I'm still kind of gold. Let's grab ourselves a goblin horn. Stand over here by the open fire. Open up this chest. Garrus holds a swell bow, which we can't even use, so we're gonna drop this this thing that's about to break. And sit by the fire. <laughs> Grab ourselves yet another uh goblin horn and a tooth. Huh. This is shaping into a very interesting uh, adventure. So now let's <coughs> say it by fire and end off the video. Link, don't stare directly into it. You're going to hurt your eyes. Uh, you know what? We did a lot this episode, guys. We made it all this way. We got to the South Summit Cave. We discovered that Tolan is up there. Up there. And that fortress that we can't even see because rock is blocking our view, but that's okay. We made ourselves a giant robot that reminds me of Bowser from Mario Party DS. I say that's a fair stopping point. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in to this awesome episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for the Nintendo Switch. Please, tune in next time. We'll head to Tellin, see if he is having any difficulties. He probably is because he's a kid going up against, a get, against giant monsters with, uh, with horns and look like robots. And maybe we'll see what this monster he was chasing is. We'll put a stop to this blizzard, hopefully. And we'll have lots of fun. I promise. Thanks so much for tuning in. So long, everybody. Thanks for watching.